Okay, everybody. Probably should have showed you this before and after, before I was done emptying. Now what I do is, with my garage, I pull everything out that I have to pull out so that I can take my two cars and back them into the garage. Now they do fit, it's a tight fit. You back them down in there. There's my, my generator, my two gas cans all ready to go. All right, so you back those in there. And once you back them in, you gotta leave enough room to walk through right here to that door over here. This door here, because that's how you get into the house because you have hurricane shutters and everything else that cover up your front door and your back door. So your only in and out is through here. So you have to get the cars over that way far enough so that you have a walk path through here. So once I put the cars in, then I start piling everything else in here um, around all the cars this way and then, you know, over the back, um, some of the light stuff, I just lay on the hoods, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, you could uh, pop the trunk, and well, I did actually pop the trunk and put some things right inside the trunk, and this way here, you know, um, you got them in there. You don't have to worry about them getting broke or something like that, you know, like your lawn ornaments and stuff like on that nature. Um, this garage is much bigger than the house that we had before. Before I can only put one car in the garage with all the stuff. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave this grill, my griddle. I'm gonna leave that in the garage for right now uh, cause it's a bitch taken from the backyard all the way up front. Um, some of the lawn chairs and stuff I'm leaving in here uh, cause we're coming to peak hurricane season. So, you know, these are the water containers that I told you that I get at Walmart. And they're like 15 bucks. I've got that one there. And then I have another big blue one over here. And that one, that one there is a seven gallon. And the one that is over there is a five gallon. And then obviously I have all different types of coolers, different sizes. So just to guys give you an idea of how you load up your garage, you wanna get your car in there first. Make sure that you have a walk path if you uh, have to cover your front door like me. And this way here, then you can just pile everything in and make sure the door closes and hopefully you're good to go. All right, survival preparedness. Catch you all on the flip side. <laughs>